What's up, everybody? Justin here to do a new fantasy booking show. This fantasy booking show is me fantasy booking the May Young Classic, which is about to start in like two weeks. It's going to be taped in about two weeks. I think it's being taped on July 13th and 14th, I believe. So, I love doing fantasy booking shows. I would love to be a booker. It's one of my passions. So, here we go with the fantasy booking of the May Young Classic. I got a tournament style of, I, th I believe, 16 names. 16 women. Let's see here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 names. Now, all these names are not the names that WWE has announced. Because I don't know all those women. These are a lot of names. Some of these are women from the main roster. From WWE's main roster. Some of the names are from NXT. Because I, I know all these women. All these women I have picked to put in the tournament... In the May Young Classic, I know all of them, and I've seen all of them perform. Uh, no, I'm not talking about seeing them live. I've just seen a lot of them on TV perform. So, up first, these are all first round matches. Up first, I got Sarah Stock. If you don't know who she was, she's formerly in TNA. She was Sarita. She was a tag team partner of Taylor Wilde. I believe her name was Sarita. Anyways, S A T or S A R I T A, I think that's how you spell it. But her real name on the Indies, her name in Shimmer was Sarah Stock. I believe she's a trainer at the Performance Center for the women, I think. So Sarah Stock in the first round taking on Asuka. Yes, I have Asuka in this tournament because I think she's very good and she deserves it. So Asuka against Sarah Stock. I got Asuka winning. Asuka goes to the second round. Bailey in this May Young Classic because I like Bailey. Bailey in the May Young Classic taking on one of her greatest rivals ever. From NXT, Sasha Banks. Bailey, Sasha Banks. I got Sasha, Sasha Banks winning. So Sasha goes to the second round. Tessa Blanchard. Tessa Blanchard, great wrestler. She's been all over the world. She's won uh, one time on a tour. She competed in like, I think, 20, over 20. Over 20 matches in 20 nights. That's pretty crazy. So Tessa Blanchard, the daughter of Four Horsemen member Tully Blanchard. Tessa Blanchard is very, very, very good. I'm a big fan of hers. And she's also pretty damn attractive. So Tessa Blanchard against Natalia. Yes, I got Natalia in this May Young Classic because I like her. So Tessa Blanchard, Natalia, I think it'd be a great match. But I got Tessa Blanchard winning. Tessa Blanchard wins over Natalia. Now these two women actually feuded in Ring of Honor in 2016. Might have feuded in the beginning of 2017, I forget. Taylor Hendricks, I think she's still part of the Women of Honor in Ring of Honor. Taylor Hendricks against Mandy Leon. I got Mandy Leon winning. Uh, next match of the first round. Thea Trinidad. She was just signed by WWE. She's Austin Aries' wife. She also was in TNA. I think that's how you say her name. Thea Trinidad. She was also in TNA as Rosita. She's a very good wrestler. So Trinidad taking on Ruby Riot. 
Ruby Riot, I have winning. Ruby Riot wins, goes to the second round. WWE just signed her, I think, a couple months ago, I believe. And they did announce in Japan that she's part of the main Young Classic. I can't really pronounce her first name, so I'll just say her last name. Hojo. H-O-J-O. So I believe it's Hojo. Her first name is K-A-I-R-I. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Kiri or something. So Hojo, very, I'm sure she's very good. I'm sure she's a very good Japanese wrestler, but I have not seen any of her matches. But I'm sure she's very good and very skilled. So I got Hojo taking on Tori Storm. She's a pro progressive women's champion. So Tori Storm, Hojo, I got Hojo winning going to the second round. I believe Hojo is a Japanese wrestler. I don't think she's Chinese. I think she's Japanese. Lacey Evans. This is still first round matches. Lacey Evans taking on Liv Morgan. I got Lacey Evans winning. Final match of the first round of the Mae Young Classic fantasy booking of it. Abby Link or Abby... Leith, or I think L-A-I-T-H, Leith, something like that. So she is formerly Kimber Lee. She is former, formerly Kimber Lee. She competed before in NXT at TV tapings. She's a great indie wrestler. I believe she's now signed by WWE. So they gave her the name Abby Leith. Take on Nicole Matthews. She's been part of Shimmer for years. I'm not sure if Nicole Matthews is still part of Shimmer. I'm not sure. So I got Abby Leith winning. She goes to the second round. And she has a great look. Kimberly, she has a great look. She's a great worker, great wrestler. So now the second round matches. Here are the second round matches. Asuka taking on Sasha Banks. That should be great. And that would be great. Tessa Blanchard taking on Mandy Leon. Ruby Riot taking on Hojo. Lacey Evans taking on Abby Length or Leith. So now I'm going to predict in fantasy book the rest of the tournament. This is the second round. Asuka, Sasha Banks. I love Sasha. She's one of, still currently my number one favorite in the company and out of all women in wrestling. Sasha is still my favorite. But that doesn't matter. When I fantasy book, I don't put over my favorites really because I just don't do that. That You can't do that if you're a booker. You can not just put over your, your favorites. I got Asuka, Sasha Banks, second round. I got Asuka winning. Asuka wins. So Asuka's very close to the finals. So Asuka defeats Sasha Banks. Up next, Tessa Blanchard, Mandy Leon. I got Tessa Blanchard winning. So in the next round, it's Tessa Blanchard, Asuka. That'd be great. Ruby Riot. Take on Japanese women's wrestler Hojo. Ruby Riot loses. Hojo wins. And if I'm saying her last name wrong, I apologize. I'm not Japanese, and I. It's not easy to pre. Uh, not predict. It's not easy to pronounce Japanese names. So Ruby Riot take on. Uh, Hojo, Hojo wins. Final match of the second round. Lacey Evans taking on Abby Leith. I got Abby Leith winning, a.k.a. Kimberly Lee. So Abby Leith take on Hojo in the third round. And Asuka take on Tessa Blanchard. Four women remaining, the final four. Here we go to Fantasy Book 
the final four. And who goes to the finals? Asuka taking on Tessa Blanchard. Asuka, Tessa Blanchard. I would love to see that match. We might actually, I think I saw that match on an episode of NXT, I think, and I think Asuka destroyed Tessa Blanchard. Anyways, I got Tessa Blanchard defeating Asuka. This is shocking because Asuka is undefeated. But this loss would not represent and affect Asuka's record in NXT because this is the May Young Classic. So Tessa Blanchard defeats Asuka. Tessa Blanchard's in the finals. Hojo, again, Japanese woman's wrestler, very good. I think she's very young. I think she's under 25. Hojo take on Abby Leith, a.k.a. Kimber Lee. I got Abby Leith winning going to the finals. So Kimber Lee goes to the finals, even though that's not her WWE name. Her WWE name is Abby Leith, or length, or whatever it is. Finals. May Young Classic, fantasy booking of the May Young Classic. The finals is Tessa Blanchard taking on Abby Leaf, a.k.a. Kimberly. I'll just say Kimberly because that's the name she built up for herself on the indies. So Kimberly, Tessa Blanchard in the finals. I would have Kimberly win. Uh, I like Tessa Blanchard a lot. If Tessa Blanchard would win, I wouldn't have a problem with it. If I booked her to win, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But Kimberly, I got winning the May Young Classic. Kimberly wins a May Young Classic. This was a fantasy booking for the May Young Classic, which I think it starts airing the taped matches of the first round. I think it starts airing sometime in July on the network, I believe. So I hope you enjoyed this fantasy booking of the May Young Classic. Kimberly wins it. And that's it. That's my fantasy booking of it. Follow me on Twitter at WWE NXT Guy and at NXT WWE Guy. Also, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great weekend. And my next fantasy booking will probably be for uh, Battleground. I'll do that, I don't know when. Maybe in a week. My fantasy booking for Battleground, I don't know if I'll even do it. But if I don't do it for Battleground, my next. Fantasy booking will be for TakeOver Brooklyn and SummerSlam. Bye for now, everybody.